Welcome Battle Brothers, I am the Epic Narrator. Today we have a fantasy showcase for you. Now it's not just 40k that I'm interested in, I'm also an avid D&D player and I'm also a DM as well. So I've got quite a selection of fantasy miniatures as well. Today we're going to look at some spell casters I've recently put together and painted. So I thought we'd start with the traditional looking wizard here. Now all of the four models you are going to see today have been made with the Frostgrave Wizards kit. And one of them is a kit bash also using the Females Warriors kit. So let's have a look at this guy first. So I went for a very traditional Gandalf style look with this guy I'm sure you'd see. So very sort of simple look, grey cloak. Um, with a sort of fireball here. We've got a small amount of green here. I'm not sure if you can see it with the color correction of the camera, but just a small amount of bright green there using, using a Vallejo neon green for that gem in the staff. The rest is all coat to arms paints and some army painter, army painter washes. So let's give him a little spin so you can see. So from the back here, um, you can see that I've put a little bit of hard coat on the gem here and a little bit of hard coat on his satchel or his water bottle there just to give that illusion of shininess. So with my painting style, I am not very big on huge edge highlights as you can see. I prefer a more subtle look to my miniatures. So we we'll move on to a model that I think is a little bit more flamboyant. This guy is inspired by sort of like Indian gurus. Um, so that's why we've got this sort of Harry Krishna orange with him. Again, I've got a little bit of hard coat just on the crystal ball so it shines. Something that I like to do is, this is all coat to arms paints again, is I like to use the coat to arms wash just on any of these bits. So to me, I would think this um, scabbard would be made out of leather so it's got a little bit of a shimmer this one is a more traditional wizard when we look at him all coat to arms paints this one no fancy neons nothing like that this is all just coat to arms and just a little bit of hard coat on the water bottle there again to give that illusion of glass now i really really like this guy he reminds me of pifole from ultramarines if you haven't seen my ultramarines reviews Go and have a look at it links above and also he reminds me of the maester in game of thrones again that's the same actor who plays pifole in ultramarines so that's the look i was going for here so i think this guy could double as maybe an alchemist as well could be a good npc now if we look at his book here now here's a little tip I don't have very thin brushes here at the moment and like everyone else I can't be bothered to be spending years and years and years on every model. So that is done using a draftsman's pen. So you can also use a draftsman's pen on things like Space Marines purity seals. I think you know it's a quick and it's a dirty tactic but it works. And the owl here, I am particularly proud of. He's very small, but I think he came out okay. Um, let me know what you think of this little owl in the comments below. Now, something I always, always had trouble doing was white. So trying to get white robes and things like that for me was always a problem. Now, I think I've been quite successful here. Now, something that I learned just from things on YouTube, I learned it very, very recently, is, I don't know why I didn't think about it before, is that in nature, almost nothing is perfectly white. You know, when you see people who have got bleached white teeth, you know, they kind of stick out a bit, don't they? I mean, yeah, they look good, but you can see they're unnatural. And so that's the same with white on clothes or anything like that. It needs to be weathered. So in the past, I would have tried to highlight up to or use something like a skull white when that was really the wrong tactic to use. Something that I used which I think was successful is I used this coat to arms unbleached wool. 
And it's kind of in the name there, isn't it? Unbleached wool. So I use the unbleached wool and a little bit of brown and I actually use this color to bring up. And for me, I think these robes have a much, much more natural look. Again, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Our final model today is um, this kit bash. Now she is made using, as I said before, so it's the Frostgrave Wizard Sprue along with the female warrior. And again, it's just a very, very simple kit bash and a little bit of shaving here and there. So what I've done is we've given her a kind of adventure pack as well. And I think she came out really, really cool. Um, I really like the stance and I'm really happy with the glowing eyes and the glowing staff. Now I did intend to do the trim white but she ended up looking a bit bit too Christmassy so I went with the gold instead a little bit a little bit more muted so I think she came out really good so the only sort of fancy stuff we've got here is on the end of the staff we're using that Vallejo neon green again and for the eyes again we've got that Vallejo neon green a little bit of hard coat on there as well just to sort of give it that shimmering look and yeah the rest again is just coat the arms so we've got her coat is just blood red um horse nut brown i believe it is so yeah i think she came out well just for a little kit bash again let me know in the comments below what you think okay so there we have it battle brothers what did you think of my spellcasters I mean, these could be any spellcasters you want. You know, they, they could be an alchemist. They could be a sorcerer. Could be a warlock. It doesn't really matter. It's D&D. &D. You use your imagination, right? That's what D&D is all about. If you would like to see more fantasy showcases, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And may the Emperor protect you through Nurgle's Blight.